It's here. Oh. I'm here, guys, with the long awaited Jacqueline Hill palette. This is our first impression of the Jacqueline Hill palette. There aren't very many brown skin reviews. There's a couple of reviews that I've seen, and there are a couple of tutorials that I've seen. So. I just want to put one more out there in the universe just for that person who's just not quite sure if they want this palette. I'll let you know my thoughts as well. All right. Well, as always, here's a picture of Jacqueline Hill. It's my best Jacqueline Hill face. Y'all think I'm doing it? Am I doing it? And please keep in mind, these are the thing that I've seen in some of the videos. I'm like, what? This is, these are Jaclyn Hill's favorite eyeshadows. So I'm not gonna say I wish it was this color, I wish it was that color. These are her favorites, so I'm just gonna let you know my opinion on her favorite. So standard black packaging with the JH in the back. It's pretty gorgeous, I must say so myself. This is my first time purchasing any Morphe palette whatsoever, so I'm not even sure what to expect. 11 out of the 28 shadows are matte, and I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, the only reason why I really wanted to get this palette was because of this color here and this color here. Yes, I could have bought the two by themselves, but I said, oh, and this, orange these two three oranges here all those two I said you know what I'm just gonna buy the palette get each for about a dollar a piece and I used the jack attack code so I got 10% off Boop. so you know what I can't go wrong even if I like maybe five shadows out of the entire thing you can't go wrong with paying like I think it was like 19 something dollars for this palette eh, was shipping so that's pretty cool anyways all right let's get started what I'm going to do is I'm going to swatch all the colors and then I'll tell you which ones I liked the best. This is that top row and I imagine these four here would be too light for me anyway but I think this will be a good either brow bone or um, lid colors. These will be good brown brow bone colors as well. That top row, I would just say brow bone, and this one would be a good crease. It's not even coming off true to color. This is really orange. So that's orange, and that's more tan, but they look more pale on camera. But these are very pigmented. Okay, here's that second row. And something I haven't noticed in any of the videos is that no one really said this first color here. It actually looks peach in the pan, but when it comes off on your hand, it's like an iridescent pinky purple. And I love these two right here as well. This will probably be a good for a neutral eye for me. It looks kind of like they're kind of skin tone colors. These three would be a great neutral eye, and these are great shimmers. And that one's a matte, but it looks kind of sheeny just on my skin tone. And I have I am noticing this the colored mattes are a little powdery, but with a good primer, you shouldn't have any issues with that. And this color right here is a very gorgeous copper. I know I'm gonna do some looks with this one. This is a pretty pink. This is kind of a frosty pink. I don't really know what I'm going to do with that, but I'll find some use out of it. This is another neutral, warm. All of these are warm. They have these. I mean, I'm really surprised the pigmentation on these are awesome. So. But not least. But I think this might be my favorite row. Here is giving me all kinds of everything. And I'll give you guys, I'll put the numbers in here as well. 
this color is everything and then some I really like this magenta it's not as vibrant in magenta it's more like a marsala color on my skin tone which I absolutely love this is a gorgeous purple which is great for brown eyes this one didn't show up that much and I can't really describe it uh, this color here is very dark and it's close to the black I saw a lot of people complaining that there wasn't a black I think this is an absolute awesome substitute for black this is the color that I wanted the reason why I wanted to buy the palette and it's gorgeous like I thought it would be and this green reminds me of max humid and I absolutely love it. this is absolutely my favorite row I don't really see a color well this is the only color that I don't really care for that you can't see here based on a first impression basis only I absolutely love this entire row minus this one because it doesn't really show up on my really skin. excited for this palette. I'm sorry it took me so long. I really was sitting on it because I didn't know how I wanted to bring this video to you guys. So Alright, I've done enough rambling for it the night. I will catch you guys in my next one and thank you all so much for tuning in and I'll catch y'all in my next one. Bye!